Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 26th episode of the Boku Cast. 26, I know, right? Crazy. I'm your host, and you are oh, yeah, your only host. <laughs> I'm your host, Boku Satsu. You can also call me Aaron. And hello to all my newcomers, new subscribers, because well, we may we may got we got like a we got like I'll, I'll say like what a few new subscribers. That's really good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> And before I start the episode, there's something I want to give a shout out to. A couple of days ago, well, yesterday, your boy got a article written about him. And uh, I'm going to put that article in the description. I want to give a shout out to Toku Nation. And give me, well, a boost that's <laughs> off on my platforms. <laughs> Thanks you guys for that. And yeah, I'll put the article in the description. It's a small article. It's talking about, well, me, lol. And uh, yeah, I write for myself and good stuff. <laughs> so uh, let's begin on this podcast. Let's talk about Ultimate Decker, uh, final, the Decker movie. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot what it was called. Wait, hold on. What was it called again? Oh, uh, crap. I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I totally forgot. <laughs> Where the, what the freak? Ah, boy, it's under my media dread. Oh yeah, Ultimate Decker Final Journey to Beyond. Uh, okay. I actually enjoyed this movie a lot. Funny enough, it felt like I was. I'm not gonna spoil. Don't worry. It felt like I was watching a uh. It felt like I was watching a well the the final episode of Decker. And to be honest, I like this I like this movie. This, in my opinion, this movie is this movie should have been the definitive ending to Decker instead of what happened after the show. Like I enjoyed the end I enjoyed the final episode of Decker, even though I feel like I feel, I feel like fucking a trigger sorry, so I care. Even though I feel like I feel like the uh Kengo should have been the like for my guy. <laughs> Dude, Trigger tried to redeem tr- no Decker tried to redeem Trigger so many times, and I get it, okay? I get it. They they had like a lot of leftover props and money for because because of Trigger, but still, that show tried to redeem Trigger so many times. In my opinion, it didn't work. A Trigger is still a shit show. <laughs> you just ah uh, yeah yeah. We don't need to talk about Trigger. So back on saying yeah, the movie was actually really good. There were a few. I had like one issue in the in the end of the movie with one scene with all the characters helping Kanaka fight well the movie villain. That's basically Frieza, by the way. Oh yeah, the voice actor, the final villain voice actor is Frieza, or for Delta Y Super Sentai, he's also Agent Umbrella, Agent Umbrella from Toku Sentai Decker Ranger. You know my favorite season. <laughs> so yeah, Frieza slash Umbrella. It's the final movie villain of this movie, and you know? a well, damn. <laughs> Once, <laughs> when I first heard, when I heard that voice, I had, I had to look it up. I'm like, wait a minute, this Frieza? Holy crap, this is Frieza. Okay, okay. Now this movie ten times better and interesting. <laughs> it's freaking Frieza. <laughs> I swear, every time I hear a familiar Dragon Ball Z voice, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. I feel like I know this voice actress from somewhere or at or voice actor. Let me let me go look it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Frieza. <laughs> oh, it's Vegeta. It's Goku. It's Piccolo. It's whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm so good at recognizing Tokusatsu. No, nah, I'm so good at recognizing Dragon Ball voices from from a Tokusatsu piece of media. So yeah, but yeah, like I'm saying, this movie's really good. Dennis seems. What can I say about Dina? I actually like her. I can't lie. <laughs> she gave me a owie, an owie vibe from Black Sun. And I really like that. I really did like that. <laughs> like the suit too. Like the character. The actress did a phenomenal job. The whole cast did a good job as well. Including the voice actors. This movie was, this movie was really good. I give it a 9 out of 10. There were a few parts. With the pacing being a drag, but yeah, besides that, and one, one annoying, one annoying part I have with the final battle overall, the movie's a nine out of ten in my opinion. Really good stuff. If you want to go support Fisher Lace, 
it's on Ultra, it's on Ultraman Connection. It's up there till March third. So rent it now. Go watch it. Granted, it's a two-hour movie. So yeah. So enjoy. So moving on from that, let's talk about Dawn Brothers. <laughs> At home, before I talk about Dawn Brothers, I, will, I won't lie. This movie tempted me on wanting to go buy the. Uh, Wanted to go buy the freaking uh, memorial for uh, for the for for Decca, the D Flash memorial. I'm tempted, not gonna lie. I'm actually really tempted. There's also that, and uh, I'm trying to save money so I can go buy it and put a, a, buy. It. I'm trying to save money so I can go save and buy the memorial to Kai Changer because. I like, I love Zox, I love Flint, I love the SD trends, I love Zenkaiger, and well, having that in my collection. It'll be, it'll be taking the second memorial I have in my collection, so yeah. So anyway, back on, <laughs> so anyway, back on saying, let's talk, let's talk about Dawn Brothers. Now, when the episode comes out, I have not seen the final episode, so I cannot talk about it but I I am going to talk about my thoughts and how I felt about the show in general so let's begin Avatar Sentai Avatar Sentai Dome Brothers this show is 50-50 in the community there are people that love it there are people out there that don't like it and that don't care for it that's totally fair now as someone who as someone who likes it I can say best bet this show is good it's not perfect. It, it's flawed. Yes, it's good, and I enjoyed it. I, I had my issue with it. What I was talking about right now, I felt like there were moments that it was epic, epic, You can say it. Hear me out. I'm a big fan of epic, Toku, Toku, like Decker Ranger, Alba Ranger. I say Geoldra technically. Kira Major kind of, but Kira Major wasn't episodic. It was mostly, it was mostly no more pace, like, like episode every episode. Uh, what another for example? Kind of loop at the same time. We both, we all know that uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that show. Uh, Zen Kaiser, for example, for being episodic, with the pacing and all that. <laughs> and uh, what else? What else? What the? <laughs> Geki Ranger, Bokenger, perfect example for the episodic. Magi Ranger, basically early 2000s Sentai are all episodic. From Hurricanger all the way to Shinkenger. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And I love all those shows. Dawn Brothers felt, I get what I know he was trying to do with it. But at the same time, it felt like this is the Sentai criminal to come with Fives. And this comes from someone who's not the biggest fan of Fives. I thought Fives was... I thought Fives was a hit and miss. In my opinion. I thought I thought it could have been better. But... I still, I'm still trying to find out what the F is the plot to this show. <laughs> because it felt like that... There isn't a plot to Dawn Bro. Many people tell me many people told me that there's a plot to it. I'm trying to I'm trying to say, okay, you know what? What's the plot to the show? There isn't one. Because let's be honest, this is fucking this is freaking no way. Like, this is the same guy that wrote for Agito, Kiva, and Fies. Not this day, he wrote for Jetman too, and I haven't even seen Jetman, so I can't comment on that show. When it comes to when it comes to Inoue's work, in my eyes, some st some of his stuff could be hit and miss. I have friends that are big fans of his work, and I'm totally fair and fine. They could like it. For me, I'm hit and miss when it comes to a Toku writer, and Inoue is 50-50 in my eyes. He made good he made good stuff like Agito. I fucking love Agito. He wrote for freaking uh well, he wrote for Dawn Bros. But yet, there are misses in my eye that I just thought weren't the best. Kiva and Fies, perfect example. And, uh... With those, all those so, except for Fies, 
There is, there, there's a plot to them. There's a plot to those shows. So what's the plot to Dawn Bros? Because I'm still trying to figure it out. And so are many others. Because I just feel like random stuff just happened. Just because. Like, okay, uh, explain to us. Explain to us why the heck. Why the heck uh, Dawn Killer and Dawn Killer Killer are a thing. We don't know. Okay. Okay, who the heck is Mother? Who the heck is Murasami's AI? Morasami's computer mom. We don't know. Okay, then explain to us how the heck did Taro's adopted dad get out of his prison. We don't know. <laughs> I can keep going. I can keep going, going, going. I can keep going, going. Like, no, I can keep going, going. Okay, you know what? Okay. People are going... People, People want to know who the heck is Zenkaiser Black? Is he is he Zenkaiser Kaito or no? Well, Toei just announced they're making a Dawnbird and Zenkaiser team up. Well, it's not I'm not surprised. And uh oh boy. Junko once again and Toshiyo Inoue are both writing and, and scripting the movie. Oh boy. It's a versus movie you, you can kind of say. Like Literally a versus movie. It's a hot mess, that for sure. And well, apparently, apparently a memorial dawn breath is in the works in ban by Bandai. And well, oh, that's gonna be something. <laughs> I'm not buying it for the record. I mean, I like dawn breath. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not buying it. But back on saying it, that uh, there are a lot of things that. Dawn Bros has not covered for plot holes, and that's the biggest issue of the show. What the heck's the plot to this show? There isn't one, and that's annoying. Heck, fuck it, freaking Fives doesn't have a plot. And many people try to tell me, many, many people try to tell me that uh, no, you see, there's a plot to the show. I'm like, I'm like, there is. Okay, please explain to me what the heck is the plot to this show? Because it felt like it doesn't have, felt like Fives doesn't even have a plot. Dawn Blow doesn't have a plot. Heck, Kiva has one. I don't like Kiva. I thought Kiva was a disappointment and boring, in my opinion. When it comes to Dawn Bros, Dawn Brothers, I feel like that I feel like that there isn't a plot to the show, and that's an issue. For record, I'm not gonna for record, I'm sorry for spoiling. I'm gonna say it right now. If you're, if you're still watching Dawn Brothers, do not watch this podcast episode. Wait until you watch all the whole entire show. But if you watch the episode already, then well, okay, fair enough. But uh, yeah, back I was saying, this the show is uh, <laughs> oh god, this show, this show doesn't, this show isn't the best when trying to tell a lore. Like, beginning of the show, we're looking through the point of view of Hadaka, only sister, and then around like. Let's say episode twenty, the show just completely changed shifts and and we're no longer in her point of view. Because I thought that she was gonna be the main character of the show. Because the show gonna be talking about her point of view. Nope. It forgot. <laughs> it forgot. It actually forgot. <laughs> and uh, I know that in a in an article that in no way said once the summer is over, he's gonna go fool he he's gonna go crazy. With this show, and well, he did all right. Once the summer ended, the man, the man basically, the man basically was cooking, but not the right type, not the good type of cooking. If you know what I mean? Because oh boy, he basically took everything that he did in Fies and Kiva and Agito, but Fies and Agito, but Fies and Kiva mostly. Agito, Agito, not really, but you know what I mean. He basically took everything from Fies and Kiva. And put it in Dawn Bros. <laughs> like the fucking love triangle between Miho slash Natsumi slash Kinjiro and uh, Tsubasa. Dude. That's dude, that's basically a fucking love triangle from, from fucking Kiva with, with uh with Miho not Miho. Miyu, I think your name was Wachiru and Taiga. <laughs> And you know what's sad? I freaking 
it's the fact that I remember those names. Yeah, I don't even like Kiva. I think, again, I think Kiva's boring, but still. <laughs> what the fuck? What the f- Dude! <laughs> Ay, 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 what the f- Man. <laughs> Excuse my language. But, uh... <laughs> that love triangle was a hot mess. But at the same time, I was rooting for Tsubasa the whole time. I'll say it like this. Don't take Dawn Bro seriously for a plot. This show, this show doesn't have a plot since day one. Again, when it comes to Inoue's work, he doesn't... When it comes to Inoue's work, the man doesn't have a plot for a show. Random stuff just happened just because. Like, okay, move Egg to the way. Look at Fies and Kiva and try to compare those plots to this one. Well, one has a plot, the other one doesn't. And that's the issue with this show. There isn't a plot to it. Random shit just happens. Like, listen, I love Decker Ranger, right? I love Decker Ranger. I love Bo Kinger. I love Kyrie Major. I love Abba Ranger. I love all the I love all the early 2000 Sentai from Her Kinger to Shin Kinger. All those shows has a plot. Wait, Deck Ranger has a plot? Yeah, it's a cop show. It's a, it's an episodic. It's a ah, can talk. Sorry, it's an episodic. It's a, ah, damn it! Fuck! It's an episodic. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! It's an episodic cop show. Sorry, I can't talk. Hold on, hold on, let me drink some of my water. Let me drink some of my water. Okay, sorry. But yeah, though, it's an epic side, it's an epic side, uh, cop show. And that works because, well, it's a cop show. No, that works because the writing that accountable for that show and for the, and for like the freaking detective vibe of that show works perfectly. Let's move down the way. Let's talk back to Dawn Bro, but in no way. Compare this work to Inoue's past work in Kamen Rider, I can say. With, uh, with Agito, not Agito, with Fies and Kiva. One out of two of those shows have a plot, the other one not so much. And, well, Dawn Bro suffered the exact same problem as Fies. What the heck is the plot to this show? Because, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep bringing it up, but, like, still, what the heck is the plot to this show? Because it just feels like, well, again, random, <laughs> it's in no way, random stuff just happens out of nowhere. And that's basically what, that's basically where it comes, that's basically where, that's basically where it comes to uh, writing for in no way stuff. Random stuff just happens. <laughs> like, beginning of the show, they were doing the Avatar, the Avatar, the, the Avatar Gears, right? Around like... Let's say Juro's debut, they stopped doing those. And yet the last one they did was in the Hurt was not Hurt Country team up, no. The last one they did was in the Dawn Birds movie when when Kaito well got the Hurt Kindred gear. And that was the last one. And then they freaking dropped it. <laughs> like, I get it, okay? Listen, also I know, also I know, I know, in no way didn't care for that. For, for those gears to appear, and that makes sense. The show, the show, I just totally forgot about that. <laughs> and if, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm actually pretty glad that they did because, dude, I can't. I fucking can't. excuse me, excuse me, later. I was just gonna say this. Hot take. I'm getting. I'm tired. I actually want. I'm getting tired right now of of the anniversary aspect in Sentai, and I'm so happy that Dawn Bros. <laughs> It's finally over. I no longer have to see any more type of anniversary stuff in Sentai. Thank God. <laughs> dude, listen, I love Zenkai and Dawn Bro, but at the same time, dude, dude, I, I'm tired. I'm tired of anniversary stuff for Sentai. <laughs> Dawn Bro just killed that. Dawn Bro just killed it for me. Don't get me started on Revice. Revice was a different type of breed for getting on my nerves with that stuff. My friend Ose made a video talk about yeah he getting tired and, and yeah he don't care for the anniversary stuff. And honestly, yeah, I totally agree with him. I totally agree with him. I totally agree with him on that. So back on saying Yeah, around the Dawn Bros movie they just forgot about the Avatar Gears. 
Not just that, no. Not be before that as well. The, t the gear just appeared out of nowhere. Like, at times. Like, okay, uh... They got the five mirror gear. Okay, uh, they got the Opera Ranger gear, I think it was, or the Jew Ranger gear. And uh, oh yeah, and uh, that's it. And uh, well, yeah. Oh yeah, the Weird Soldier gear. To be fair, they got that in the beginning of the show. And uh, yeah. The Die Ranger gear too. <laughs> Funny enough, a uh, freaking Weird Ranger suit actor was in that. Was in that episode, and he played the monster of the week in that episode too. So yeah, no joke, he actually did. And it's the fact that in no way wrote for the wrote for freaking uh Rio and uh Jen's beef in Die Ranger. No joke, he wrote for that episode, and yet that's actually one of his best work. That's actually one of his best works. Work he one of his best written episodes. He wrote for Tokusatsu. No joke, I don't, and this comes from someone. Who, this comes from someone who isn't even a big Die Ranger fan. I didn't like the show, and yeah, I like I like Reels Reels B for Jin. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I don't know where the Avatar gear just appear and don't appear, don't appear, and that's just that's it, that's just it, and that's it. And don't get me started on the freaking uh don't get me freaking started on the on the mechs. Oh god the mechs. I'm just gonna say that I think Dawn Bros had the worst CGI ever when it comes to mech fights and my god that's coming from me and yeah I saw Tokyo's mechs. And those mech fights No, those mechs are ugly. Like I love Don Little Taijin, I like the mechs and show, but man well Except for uh, except for just for Jiro's mech, I don't like that mech at all. Never, never care for it. But uh, my God, the CGI in this show is abysmally bad. <laughs> Do you guys remember those early two thousand Marvel movies, animated Marvel movie with crappy CGI? Dawn Bros gave the exact same vibes as those. <laughs> And, uh, well, those movie CGI look way better than this one. Like, don't get me wrong, the CGI for the show is bad. Like, it's really bad. For Kinji Brother and Inu Brother. Dude, I'm just gonna say that. They should have... All the Kinji's... All the Kinji fight scenes should have been in original suit. Yet, they made it. They made a non-CGI suit for Kinji, though. It looks so good. I love that suit. But ugh, the CGI was ugly for this show. I'm s fuck sake, Kira Major, Zenkaiger, King Oger doesn't look like they had no CGI. So what the f why the f what Toei thinking of doing CGI for Dawn Bros? Like Toei, I get it, okay. How much money? How much money do you guys blew the budget every episode for making a CGI for these two? Cause my god, it's so awful. It was so awful. It was literally so awful. My <laughs> goodness. Ay ay ay. Oh, please forget that. What the fuck? It's gonna be later. Sorry. But ay ay ay. This show was something. But uh, besides my issue with the show being episodic, episodic, and the fact that this show doesn't have a story, a story. Or the crappy CGI and the copy and paste of Noe's past work and put it in here. Let me talk about my positive of the show. The soundtrack. The soundtrack actually won the best soundtrack I heard in a while from Sentai. And the last good one I heard was from Kira Major. I like Zenkaiser's soundtrack, but yeah, at the same time, Kira Major's soundtrack was way better in my opinion. The character songs, I heard them. Oh yeah, the character song. Not, not all the character songs. Not the, the, all the character songs ain't out. No, but I heard that. Uh, but the character song I'm talking about is the one with, with the. Uh, damn it! The character song I'm referring is the one where all the Dawnville cast members were singing like a huge interest song called something something Dawnville thing was. And uh, well, it's actually really good. 
It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes Plays as well. It's on iTunes as well. I recommend it. Very good. <laughs> and, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, the suits. I like the suits. Again, my favorite probably King Joe's because, well, the crappy CGI was abysmal, yes, but the actual suit they made was so good. It's so good. I loved it. I wish they used that 100% of the shells. They're using C CGI for 99% of the shell. That was just, and CGI didn't do crap. So I move, so I moved that out of the way. But uh, the other, the other suits are like in shows. Zenkaiser Black. Well, that suit just simple. It's just a repaint of the original Zenkaiser suit. And yet this one looked way better than the original one. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about Kaito very soon because oh boy, I got I got a lot to say about his character. I like Domo Otaro's base suit. I, I get the uh, I love I love her yes yeah, base about well, an Oni. I get it. I love it too. I I love I love it. I I love it, okay? I love her yeah, it's based off well again, it's based off of Oni. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Uh, Oni. Ha ha ha. Dummy out, dummy out. No, okay. But, uh, Beggar said, yeah, I love the Dom. I love my guitar suit. It's simple. And I love Dan Toku. I'm a big fan of Less is, less is More. And that's that, that basically what I get. The main reason why I love G so much is because it's not going. It's not going. It's not trying to go all big, all go home like Revice did or Saber or Zero One. I don't know, Zero One did Zero One had a lot of basic suits and I love those suits. Revice this Revice eh Saber not so much. Saber Saber just Saber, Saber was just too much. Saber and Revice is suit like okay, you know what? New power up for no reason. Bam, 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 bam. Look at this big chunky suit. I'm like, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, I love Cross Saber. I know, hot take, I know, crazy, right? I like Cross Saber because, well, it's just simple. And yes, I know, so we paint, and the developers for that suit went through hell, apparently, when they made that suit. And I, I felt totally sorry for them. And again, to be fair, it's Saber, and Saber is not the best written comedy show in Reiwa. And, uh, yeah. Revice's, Revice's suits were hit and miss at times. I mean,. All the genome form, all the genome forms are good, and some are bad. Like I like Brachio, I like Falcon, Comic Keys. I mean, the freaking Gaim suit was. Eh. I like Krugus. Decades was the worst in my opinion. Vice's suit was pretty good, and uh, Jacko was meh. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bless you. <laughs> Then uh, then uh, the second half just really made made a lot of ugly suits and bad decisions. Over Demon, that suit's garbage. Ultimate Gene, that suit's ugly. <laughs> uh, even through live, I actually like that suit. Ultimate Revice, god awful. Moving on, Jew got crap. Death Strain, I actually like Death Strain. <laughs> Queen B, I actually, I actually like, I actually like, I actually like the freaking Aguilera suit. Hence, I bought the figure on the review of her. If you reckon you want to watch that video, that reviews on my channel. So, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, though. What I like about g right now, that all the suits are just basic and simple. Like, my favorite Kamara suit in the whole franchise is Ryuga's suit. Because of Dragonite? Yes, that too, but also at the same time, I'm a big fan of Color Black. And that suit doesn't need to go that suit doesn't need to be all big and bulky no i love the ryuga suit the ryuki suit because they're just simple that's it they got cool designs they're just simple not the biggest fan of the divide form for drag for ryuki that form that suit look that suit looks ugly same for the alternative forms but ryuga suit is my favorite comment my favorite suit in the whole franchise because it's just simple Yes, it's a wee yeah, it's a wee color of the Ryuki suit. But yeah, it's but yeah, less is more, and it also painted black and black my favorite color. It's it's a simple it's a simple wee color suit, and I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I really do love it. <laughs> Compare that 
to Jeet. The reason I brought up Jeet is because Jeet's suits are simple, are really simple. Like, they're not going all big or buff or bulky. Well, the command form, the freaking command form that, that KY and Ace got is big and bulky, yes, yeah, but at the same time, that, same time, that suit looks, that suit looks simple, in my opinion. Well, that power up, that power up looks simple, but it must be a lot. It must be very happy for a suit actor to wear that. But you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that suit looks simple. Those suits look simple. I love the uh, I love the regular. Uh, I love the default, the uh, the default suits that they wear before before they put the buckles in, get their get their uh power ups the armors they wear i love that it's simple it's all cleek it's all sleek black it's, i love it i love it why why am i bringing this up because dawn bros did this perfectly with the suits mind the cgi all the like regular suits are just simple in the show are just simple they're not big and bulky no they're simple that's what I love about Raywall so far. All the Sentai suits, in my opinion, are really top ten simple. Like, they don't need like be big and bulky and tough like like hey say. No. They're just simple and less. And I love that. I love that. <laughs> my favorite suit in the show gotta be Zenkaiza Black. Kinjo, the Noto suit. I love all the Noto suits. They, they look so simple. I love it. Sonori is my Sonori. Sonori is my favorite one because his suit is just. Besides the fact it's freaking blue, he he my he's actually my favorite character in Dawn Bros. <laughs> I like all the Noto, so keep that. So there's also that too. But uh, also yeah uh. Also, yeah, I I love I love Dora Goku and Toribo suit as well. Even though I lean lean towards more Toribo suit, because well, I just love the black and white and gold for that suit, in my opinion. So yeah. But yeah, though I I like all the Dom bro I like all the Dom brother suits. I'm not the biggest fan of the gold of of golden Dom Motaros. That suit looked like a reject. Caliber power up from Saber. You're not talking about Caliber's second power up he got in the show. It reminds me of that, and I'm not. And I didn't like that suit. Say say that because I have the figure, I have the figure of that Caliber form, and I and I really want to sell it because that figure looks god awful. <laughs> I I'm probably, I'm probably gonna hunt down a regular Caliber one of these days, but yeah. So back on as I was saying. So yeah, yeah though. Back on back on as I was saying. It's uh Oh sorry. Yeah, back on I was saying it's this. Not the big fan of that suit. The gold was the gold was kinda ugly. And I wasn't a big fan of Cape when they revealed like, oh okay, so why does it look like Jakku Dragon? Why why did it feel like a Jakku Dragon from Saber? I got a Jakku Dragon vibe from gone from Dom from Golden from Golden Momo Dom Taros. <laughs> ay ay ay, what the fuck? It was something, that's for sure. It was something. But uh yeah, that suit that suit that suit was not that suit that power up probably my least favorite power up from Sentai. But that's just that's just my opinion. Ay ay ay. Remember the last time you had like a freaking Phoenix in Santa? Oh yeah. Kira Major, that's right. <laughs> Kira Major, forgot about that. To be fair, I like that power up in Kira Major more. Yeah, yes, it looks stupid, but, it, but I like the context more there instead of here. Because, how did Dumbo Tolls get a power up here for the Phoenix? Easy, easy, easy. There's a reason. He drank the juice of the Notos and his teammates to be revived after Sonori, well, killed him. <laughs> Although I will say, I love the fact how yet, how yet that rivalry got a freaking award. Got, got a freaking award in Japan. 
and I can't lie, it did. Cause I love this. I love what they did for 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 the duels. Cause the first one, uh, Toro won, and Sonori died. And then Sonori came back as a let's say bootleg Domo Taros. Then uh, the second duel, Sonori killed Taro, and Taro died. And Torbo brought Torbo. Brought Tor's dead body to Kaito, to Zenkai the Black. And then Zenkai the Black thought, okay, no, how am I gonna bring this guy back? I got it. I'm, I got it, okay? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna steal the juice of all, of, of everyone from all his teammates and enemies. Well, that's what he did. <laughs> that's what he did. I know. I love the No Toast characters in this show Sonori, Sony, and Sonoza. So maybe my so maybe my so maybe my favorite one because his character, the man was trying to figure out life about 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 um, about what it is to be human, and the whole entire show his friendship with the Dawn Bros, Queen Mama Taros, I love that, I love that. One of that aspects I can get credit to for Fives is that it tried multiple times to make what what name Kiba yeah. Kaiba, I think it was Kaiba and Takami friends, but at the same time, same time next like, next episode, so they're basically enemies again in Fives. But I felt like that it was way better in here than in Fives, cause Fives it tried it tried a lot, but it just didn't work. Here it worked, it worked really good, and I loved it. <laughs> I I loved it so much. <laughs> Subasa. The, the freaking love triangle again. I kind of find that the weakest, but at the same time, I was mostly I was mostly cheering for Subasa the whole entire time to get his girl back. And well, if he watched, if it all covered Dawn Bros, he got her back, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I feel sorry for Kinjo because that man got cucked. Damn. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the whole entire time he he to be fair, the whole entire time he did stole someone else's woman, and yet uh. Yeah. <laughs> My baby, yeah, yeah though. Yeah though, he he did stole someone else's woman the whole entire time. And and he did not question it. He did not question it question it, it in one bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah boy. Yeah, boy. So yeah, though that's yeah, though. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me say like let me say about the characters. Taro, I like him. Beginning of the show, he was annoying. Uh, not he beginning of the show, he was annoying, like really annoying. Yes, but I liked him. I like his energy. He gave me the same vibe as an overconfident red. And the last time we last time fans had overconfident red in Sentai. Was freaking Daigo from Kiryuger. Not just Daigo. We got, uh, Kibber, Kibber, I'm gonna say this name. Captain Marvelous from Gokaiger. And, uh, Taro reminds me of both of them. Taro reminds me of both of them. Because both of those reds are overconfident and cocky. Even though one's cocky more than the other, but that's just my opinion. And, uh, well. The character progression Tar went through the show is basically him trying to figure out, damn, what is it like to be human? And well, shit. <laughs> and well, shit, though. Man basically found out, man basically found out the whole entire show what it is to be human. Like, the sub, the sub reference, so many times the show trying to tell him that, okay, you know what, this man, this, this man really trying to be human. And yet, and yet, his whole entire life, the man basically was alone. Like, he had adopted daddy at the same time. At the same time, he had, like, no friends to hang out with. He was all alone through his whole entire childhood. <laughs> and, well, what I love about the show that, uh, the, the man, the man, basically, the man basically have, the man basically had, made a lot of friends. He had, he had, he had a boyfriend that tried to kill him a couple times. And at the same time, his boyfriend is now his team member. And well, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. 
It's crazy. Also, I want to get a shout out to my boy Zero Agito because I know how much he likes Sonui. Let's talk. Let's talk about her, shall we? Sonui, everyone. <laughs> I should have got. I should have fucking got. When I read the bio for this character, saying that saying that her character basically focused around what about, about love, like oh boy, oh boy, love. He said, "Well, in no way love. In no way loves his J dramas. Apparently, <laughs> we all know that. Let's be honest." He made fucky. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get when when I watch Jetman one of these days. He's gonna make that show into a freaking soap opera. <laughs> like no joke. He's gonna make that show into a freaking soap opera. Oh, I'm not wrong. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing he is. He's gonna make that show into a freaking soap opera. <laughs> I haven't watched Jetman for the record, so I'm just guessing. Once I go watch that show, so back on saying. God. Her character arc in the show was weird because beginning it just felt like it just felt like that she was just horny for love and want to know what it is, and then and then, then we find out that uh well then we, then then the second half made her kid interesting because well she has feeling for Tsubasa because well she loves him like no joke. No joke, she really loves this guy, but yet the whole time the guy, the guy was basically trying to get back his missing girlfriend who was impersonated by a different person. Oh, well, by a non-human creature, we can say. Jesus Christ, what the fuck, in no way. What the hell? In no way, what were you, what, what were you smoking for making this show? Like, I get a K, I get a K, no way. You wrote for Kiva, the most boring show ever in Tokusatsu history, in my opinion. And trust me, when I say boring, I mean boring because Trader did not like it when I called that show boring. <laughs> you wrote for Agito, and that show, that show was pretty decent. Then you wrote for Fies, and uh, you made Fies, you made Fies a complete train wreck because the show had like no plot, and the characters are the character. Turn one alien at each other multiple times. <laughs> for, for, to clarify, I haven't watched In No Way's work. In uh, I haven't watched In No Way's work. And the, on, the only Sentai show I watched that was by In No Way was, well, Jetman. And that's it. And yes, I know he wrote for he wrote for a few episodes for Five Man and O Ranger and Jew Ranger. I know he was he was the second writer for Kruger. I get that. But I'm totally talking about I'm only talking about show that I'm only talking talk about show that he well only written himself. Only him. Only him. Only him, that's it. I don't know why I say it like that loud, but yeah. So back on so back on as I was saying. So back on as I was saying. You know a you know what the what the hell were you cooking, my boy? Like what were you what were you smoking when you wrote for this show? You did you did something that for sure. You were, were, were you smoking the Kush that badly? You no, know? like ah, uh, you know what? I think time for me to go back. I think time for me to go back for another Jacka episode. Don Bros. Okay, let's see. Taro, Sonoe, Gay Sex, something something about Subasa getting his girl back, Kinjiro getting cuck or whatever. Like, okay, no way, okay, no, I get it, okay? You were cush, you were smoking the good stuff while writing for every episode of Dawn Bros. I get that. <laughs> I get that, okay? I totally get that, but Jesus Christ, my guy, what the hell were you doing for this show? Ay, ay, ay. But back I say about Sonoe, She's fucking horny for Subasa. <laughs> no joke, she actually is. Second half, once, one second half, once the second half dro drove into more of Subasa's plot, subplot show, which in my opinion, which in my opinion, the the best plot of the show. You basically can tell that uh, you basically tell that uh, she's horny for a man. But yet this man, this man, had, this man had a mission to get his girl back, and yet he did. He fucking did, and I loved it. I love it. Miho's actress did a really good time to job for playing well two characters as well. 
She's also really funny too, not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh I love this cast. Kinjo's act Kinjo's actor my god, I gotta say that. I think I think one of my I think uh Kinjo perf after performance gotta be one of the best in this show. Cause my god, this man this man went through this man this man performed like he was he was in a movie. Well he was in a movie, what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this actor. I'm gonna guess this actor being a lot of movies, but you know what I'm trying to say. He went. His his character went through rage, sorrow, anger, cry, emotion about crying as well, and happiness and pure evil. Really. That that is an emotion, but you know what I'm trying to say there. His actor, my goodness, his actor was so good. I can't. I can't. I can't. His actor was so good. <laughs> His actor, his actor did so good in this show. Oh my goodness! Every time he's on screen, I was like, "Okay, can this man surprise me?" And he freaking did. <laughs> he freaking did. My goodness, he did. He freaking did. His, my God, this this actor, this, his actor is so talented and so good. I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. For being the first male Pink Ranger in Sentai history, Sentai, Sentai, Sentai only. For being the first male Pink Ranger in Sentai history, he did a really good job. And I can't be mad about it. My goodness, this actor sort his actor sort knows how to act, and I gotta get him. He did a stellar performance, and I love it. <laughs> uh, sorry, brother. Well, like I said, about sorry, brother. He, what what was his character arc in the show? Besides, besides, besides the fact, besides the fact, show, besides the fact, the show saying, "Oh yeah, he's poor." What was his character arc in the show? Be well, he doesn't have one. Also, I think it's kind of weird that uh, and that uh, before the end of the show, for the climax, he had a weird beef with the No Toes for no reason. Like, like why did him and Sonosa have beef for no reason? Like I found I found him stupid. I found him stupid. <laughs> like he had beef with them for no reason. Like what the fuck? No way. What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to make conflict? Because the conflict that you did with Ray Rail was Subasa and Kinjido. and I love that. But why did why did Star Brother had beef with Sinoza? I'm I'm trying to figure that out. I'm still trying to figure out why. What 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 why? Why did he have beef? That was no way. What the fuck? <laughs> and no way, again, what the hell were you cooking, my guy? You were on the good cush, that for sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ. He was on the good cush, that for sure. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. The note. <laughs> you know, since we talk about Sonosa, since I just brought the nose, so no, let me talk about him. I love this guy. His whole arc made him try to figure out about emotion, and I love the gag that him becoming Holocaust editor. I loved it. I love the dynamic show too, and also, also him becoming him becoming a a reboot, we can say by by reading so much manga and a little bit of emotion. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. His actor, his actor did, his actor really gets a still good job. Too fair, too fair. All of them get, all of them did a good job. <laughs> they all, they all did an amazing job on the show, and yeah. <laughs> so back on saying, back on as I was saying is uh, <laughs> Sonosa is funny. Like this guy's funny. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know what? His laugh reminds me of your donut's laugh. You know, your donut, your donut can't laugh properly. <laughs> and I like your donut. Don't get me wrong. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to talk about your donut really soon on the, on this episode. Because I, I got a lot to say. I got a lot of things to say about about the news about about her new form. That 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 going to be in part three of your donut special. Because, oh boy, I got, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. <laughs> so, yeah. Sonoza. I love him. He's funny. He's funny, he's cool, he's cringy at times, but yeah, I like him because of that reason. And his relationship with Haruka, I loved it. I loved it. 
I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. So let's talk about so let's talk about Artica. Well, what can I say about this girl? Well, first off, her actress noticed me. Her actor, her actress liked my pick. Like her actor liked my story one time. Wait, book. What are you talking about? So last year, I think it was. It was last year that uh, I I reposted her, I reposted her post on my story, and uh, her actress saw that, liked it, liked it. I'm like, holy shit! Wait, hold up! What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait! Hold up! Wait, hold up! What? Wait, what? Holy shit! Okay, hold on, hold on. What the? F no, no, this not just happened. No, it fucking did. Holy sh! I'm losing my mind right now. What the hell? <laughs> it was so cool. I loved it. It was so cool. I loved it. It was so cool. I loved it. I fucking loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. But her character. Well, she's the oh, see not oh, see the most. She's not your most normal yellow. And the last time we had like a normal yell in the show was Tomiko from Kira Major. To be fair, no. Tomiko has a fucking thing for your donut. <laughs> I fucking love I, I fucking love Tomiko. He's one of my favorite yellows, but yeah, at the same time, he, he has a thing for your donut. Ah, <laughs> oh, this fucking nerd. I love this guy. I love this gamer so much. But Haruka over here, this girl's crazy. <laughs> the driving episode. One of my favorite episodes of the show. Her trying to learn how to drive was funny. And know what's funny about the episode? The Monster of the Week was based off Time Ranger. And for those that know me on Twitter, and for those that know me, I don't like Time Ranger. But to be fair, I didn't care for the monster. That was that, 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 that episode for her her part of the sh her plot in that episode was pretty funny. And I loved it. <laughs> I don't know how the hell she got a driver's license, but yes, she did. But yeah, I love yeah, I love I love that. Yeah, at the same time, uh, same time. Next episode, they just they just forgot about it. They just forgot about it. They just forgot about it. <laughs> they just forgot about it. My boy Tsubasa, my, my, my boy Tsubasa earned the trust and respect of Murasame. And well, next episode, he used that sword to defeat the. Defeat the Juto, Juto that that possessed his well kid friend, and uh yeah, <laughs> and yeah, Haruka's a crazy yell. Like you can't like okay. Spoiler, spoiler alert for those that for spoiler alert. But in the episode when she finds out that her future self is the main reason why her whole arc about her being plagiarized, it the it well. That whole reason. Plagiarizing. Maybe the main reason why I ever call her plagiarizer because. Herself. Yeah, I kind of found a sub. In no way. <laughs> Sorry. Like literally, she's like literally, she's a teenager, and you did for that episode made their future self a couple. What the? F no way. No. In no way. No. No way. No. No. In no way. Bad. Bad. In no way. Bad. In no way. No. That. No. No way. Just stop. Just fucking stop. This isn't an anime, my guy. Don't get me don't get me started on that stuff. Ew, no. I kinda of found like
people gonna say it now? My, th th this is a problem with the industry. general and media for their own fetishes because that's just gross and disgusting. Perfect excitement for me perfect excitement for me to bring this up now. No, for a second. So People have then people have the criticism towards the reveal of your donut new suit. Burst mode I think it was called Burst your Donut. was 16 on the time of the show came out. A lot of shot of her kicking people with her feet and legs. And guess who? And guess who directed? And guess who directing the show? I I love. Yeah, Carisha Sakamoto directing this special. <laughs> I love this man. I love this man directing for fight scenes that are that are appropriate. By the way, that Oh my goodness. Why are you fucking horny, my guy? You have a wife. Stop it. No, this is a, no, this is a problem, this is a problem in the Japanese industry in general. They have a fucking horny they have a freaking horny finish for the young gorgeous Asian women. And it's, and it's disgusting. Stop it. Treat them the same way as you want to treat men. As you treat men. It's fucking disgusting. Like, oh, 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 look at, oh, look at this, look at this beautiful, attractive women. I'm so horny. Like, dude, ew, no, stop it. Listen, I love. Dude, why the hell did they sexualize that female, that one female in the movie? I call what her name was. Why the hell did they sexualize, sexualize her in that movie? in the theater watching with my mom and my brother.
was that really necessary for you to do that? Because to be honest, it wasn't necessary in the first place. It's disgusting. But unnecessary. <laughs> this is my issue because for those that know your, your donut special or that uh, trilogy that not does not have the best reception in the Toki fandom. <laughs> That's why I like it because, well, it's fucking stupid. And also, it's fun too. I just, it's fun too. Let me explain. No, I'm not, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that because, I'm not saying that because there are a lot of skirt scenes. No. I find, I find that disgusting and appropriate. I love, I like the fight. I like the fight choreography and camera work that Sakamoto did for the for the fight scene in that movie well, special. Move away from the in a move, move the fact that uh part part one and two, fucking. <laughs> your donuts actress wasn't wearing a fucking. God damn it! Not not making it up. But... I wasn't making it up by the way. Part one and two. When she was in, when she was in the school uniform, she wasn't wearing panties. Also, why the hell was part one? You don't. Why the hell did part one? Also, tell me why do you hire porn stars in part one? You don't know special. I get it, okay. I get it, okay. Those specials are rated and because they're not appropriate for kids to watch. And no, they are not. Kids should not be watching that type of content. And thank God. But Toei, 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 Toei. This this isn't the first time y'all hire a porn star in Tokusatsu. <coughs> Car Ranger, <coughs> Mega Ranger, <coughs> Ginga Man. Just saying. And guess what? I love all those shows, but my God, Toei, what the hell? Also, go on just well. Oh yeah, y'all don't know this. So for y'all, for those who don't know, go on Silver's actress was a porn star. Also. The fucking scientist, the fucking, the freaking scientist lady from Drive was a porn star too, apparently. Save for, but save for freaking uh, Kenzuki's actor from Blade. I think Baron's actor as well. Not make this up, by the way. Not being this up. But Toei. Stop it! Stop sexualizing these women! Not just Toei, Superai as well. No, any Japanese industry that, that, any Japanese industry that, like, filming for a tokusatsu, anything, stop sexualizing these women. Stop it. Stop it. It's so gross and disgusting. Like, I remember, I remember when, when, uh, when, when, Pat, when, when Pato Pink's actress, had to freaking disable her comment on her social media because people were being so gross and horny for her. And yet I felt sorry for that type of harassment. And that's totally, un that's 100% that's unacceptable. I did not agree with that. You do not harass an actress just because, how just because how attractive and gorgeous she is. Like, oh my god. I listen, I like I like Mio. I, I like Mio from Geki Ranger too. I do. But I'm not gonna harass the actress because how gorgeous she is how gorgeous and hot she is. No, ew. No, I'm not gonna do that. And, and people should not be doing that to these to the actresses as well. I <laughs> My fucking god, it's disgusting. It's disgusting and pisses me off. And you want and you wonder what's sad about this whole tire thing? <laughs> what what's sad about the whole tire thing? There are people to this very day that are doing it, and yet it's totally disgusting. There, there are people there are people there are people out there there are people out there that are harassing these actresses this very day. In person. And yeah, totally disgusting. Like we watched it. Okay. When Saber came out, like what, I think two yeah, two uh, two years ago. Well twenty twenty three years ago, well twenty twenty, May's actress went on talk May actress was a guest on talk show and she talked about how yeah 
how yet this one guy was bugging her. And uh, she sent him a picture of her. And a picture of her in a bikini. And uh, well, she felt, she felt harassed and threatened by that. And uh, God, it's fucking disgusting. It's totally disgusting. I felt so sorry for her to see how to deal with that. I totally feel sorry for me after she got to deal with that. I really do. And that's totally disgusting. There's a thing we call separate the character from the actor and actress. Separate the art from the artist. Like I, listen, I have, I have a crush. I have a crush on fictional character, female fictional character, and it's okay. You can, you can have crushes on female fictional character. That's totally fine, simple. You can do that. But if you're going to harass the actress just because. You can't separate them, or just because you don't know oh, how, how hot they are, buddy. Get, shut the fuck up and get out. Get some help. That's that's disgusting. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like when I think of Tokusatsu, I think of, I think of explosion, cool suit, cool costume, cool soundtrack, fighting some someone fighting sea giant monster. No, I don't want to see a freaking fight scene of a girl. Not a girl who's half dressed, using her legs to kick monsters. No, 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 no! Ew! No, it's disgusting. I don't agree with that. <sighs> and it's and it's annoying. It's really annoying. Now. Why did I bring up your donut for this? <laughs> I always say beginning, but that her costume. Toei, that costume is a no. You should be ashamed of yourself. I made a tweet today saying Toei's logic. More fans, more horny fans, horny fans. I said, I said, wait, 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 hold on. I said something, wait, what did I say? Hold on. Hold on, let me go, uh, look, let me go, uh, bring it back up again to here you go. I made the treat saying, Tori Logic, let's make our fans horny for money. Excuse, sorry about that. Yeah, let that Tori Logic. Hey, you know what? So we know, so we know, so we have like a lot of fans that are big fans of character. Why is that? Because the actress is because the actress is pretty hot. Yeah. So let so so, so let use her and her body to make money and and sell and sell a toy off her change on Premier Bandai. Toy, if you Toy, oh sorry, Toy, if you do that, if if you actually do that, I'll be mad as hell and uh and, and you should be ashamed of yourself. If you actually do that, you should be ashamed of yourself because that. Using an actress's body just to make money off the off of, off merchandise? Fuck you. Just fuck you, Toei. Just fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Listen. I listen, I like my listen, listen, I wanna meet I want to meet your donors actress. I'm actually a big fan of Momo Zinoski Momos Momoko Momo Noski. I like her. I, I can relate to her. In fact, for for different reasons, I like her though. I will, I would love I would love to meet her. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I would love to meet this girl. Say hey, uh, I'm a big fan of your character, the show, and uh, and uh, I and, and I enjoy your performance as a, I enjoy your performance with the character. If, if, to be honest, if I do if I do meet when I do meet her one of these days, yeah. <laughs> I want to try to speak in Japanese, but most at the same time, I'm I'm trying to I'm most, I'm pretty much going to use a translator just to just to say. Best way for me, that's the best way for me to say it, though. <laughs> my Japanese, my Japanese isn't the best, so so keep that in mind. <laughs> God. <laughs> so back on that I was saying. So back on that I was saying. Sorry about that. That was that was just funny right there. So back on that I was saying, Toei, the suit, change the suit, Toei, hell no, fuck's sake, make her a ranger, like, 
There are fans that are literally mad that she's a ranger. And I don't, I don't blame them. And yes, I know. She has a fucking... Yeah, no, she has she has a curated chain device, just like freaking Takamichi. I know she does. I know that. <sighs> honestly, I, I honestly don't I honestly don't know why Toby didn't make her range in the first place. But uh Oh yeah, uh what's up? Ocarinko. Oh god, I gotta come watch that. <laughs> so fuck. Forgot about that crappy show. But, uh, yeah, Toei, yeah, Toei, I'm disappointed in you. Stop sexualizing these female. You too, Super Rai. If I know any Japanese, me any, any, any Japanese company that is, well, making a tokusatsu, any, any tokusatsu related, to so stop sexualizing these females. It's totally gross, it's totally gross and disgusting. And the fact that they're using them to make money off them for toys and merch, that's disgusting. And I hate it. I totally hate it. I totally hate it, and and no one should and no one should be doing that. Treat these women the same way as you treat the guys. Just saying, don't just say, "Ooh, you know what? She's hot. Let's use her because she has a hot body." No, fuck you. That's disgusting. Stop it. That's that's totally disgusting. Stop it. So moving on from that rant, before before I talk about uh. Akira okay, Winko, okay. oh boy, I want, I want to get, before I talk about that show, I got, I want to talk about something else that I've been thinking about lately, you know, I made like a rant about it, like this week on Twitter, let's talk about Toei, again, but Kamen Rider, should Kamen Rider come to America, yes and no, hear me out why. Yes, because I can see this franchising doing pretty good on television for like shows like Double Guy, Build, XA, Revice, no, uh, Jeets as well, many other shows. No, because the no part because people are gonna see this. Kids are mostly gonna see this as well, but most of people, other people as well who aren't in the Toku, are gonna see this as like a reject Power Rangers. You can say, you said Power Rangers. Hold on, hey, don't be full, before you, before you all short, before you, anyone, before anyone throw the pitchforks at me. Hear me out. People will see this as some type of reject Power Ranger from Japan, and it'll be like they have ignored it. They ignored it. What the hell it is? I would love. To see, I would love to go to my local GameStop and see Combat and merch on the shelves, but nah, where I live in Ohio, <laughs> not gonna say where, but yeah, where I live in Ohio, we don't have token merch over here, except for Power Rangers, and that sucks. I, I had to buy all my comrade merch, well, online, of course, from, well, Token Collectibles, Team by the US Store, and Amazon, hell, Japan as well, just saying. And yeah, though, uh, sorry. Okay. Okay. I would love to see this franchise. I would love to go wake up every morning at eight in the morning, turn on my television, go to whatever channel Comrade is on, watch it. That would be really cool. But now though, it, it, I can't. No though, because because, there's a, there's a, because because here's why we have a problem. It's Toei. They don't know what the hell they're doing with their franchise over here, over here, because even Toei know, even Toei wants this franchise to do, well, <laughs> even Toei's like, you know what, you know what, I did hear that, I did hear that, I did hear we have fans, we have fans in America that love our friend that love our products. I'm like, yeah, you do have fans over here. I'm one of them, many others. Half, all my friends are as well. But yeah. It's annoying though because you guys are fucking stubborn with, with, with what the fuck you want to do. Like, you can't. How the hell? How the f? In fact, is Shout Factory doing a better job with Common Rider than you guys? You guys, your your the, the American Toei official YouTube channel sucks. It fucking sucks. That channel's dead right now. That channel's fucking dead right now. 
Because why the hell is it on 240p per... FP, 240p per second. 240p. For the quality. What the fuck? With the HD quality. Not just that. Why the hell is there Sentai content on that? That yeah, I can't access many others. I get it, Hasbro and all. But still, move Hasbro out of the way. What the hell? No, that's stupid. That's stupid. How are you going to put Sentai content on that channel and yet I can't access it? Well, get a VPN. Well, here's the thing. I don't use VPNs. <gasps> Shocker. No. It's stupid. Yes, I know. I can go see this. I can go out the full episodes of the Sentai show that aren't illegal over here in America on a pirate website. Yes. But, but that's not the point. The point I'm trying to the point I'm trying to point out <laughs> sorry the point I'm trying to point out is this there's no reason why the Sentai video should be blocked on your channel toy what the heck half of these half of these Sentai videos are full episodes are freaking full <laughs> are full ending dances as well and openings as well like I saw Q Ranger on there Ninja many other Sentais. So why are they blocked? Toei, you Toei, you really Toei, you you don't know what the hell you're doing. You guys are the main reason why Comrade could, you, know, you guys are the main reason why Comrade isn't gonna do that got good over here in America. Cause you guys are so fucking stubborn. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Hear me out, Toei. Stop being stubborn. Think about the fans outside of Japan for once, and say, you know what? You know what? Let's find let's find a way to bring Comrider to to America, and and that'll be great. That has to be great. That has, that actually would be great and totally amazing and awesome. Like, I would love to wake up in the morning, go on my television, watch a new episode, like let's say a Comrider Jeets, instead of going on a pirate website like, trying to get me a virus. I would love that. I would love that. I would totally love that. But <laughs> it's not but. It's just Toei so stubborn that it annoys me. Yes, I know. Toei doesn't care if, I know what Toei does not care for its regional and overseas fans. I know that. They only care for the Japanese consumer, just like Banda Japan. Well I'm, what I'm trying to point out is this. I want Toei. I want Toei to. I want Toei to. Well, met, I want Toei to know that. I want Toei to know that. Uh, if they stop being stubborn, it would be cool and awesome to have Kamen Rider popular over here in the West, just like just like in Asia and many other countries and states. But no, it's not. It's annoying. It's really annoying. I hate it. I hate it. Hell, freaking California has a lot of commerce stuff. I'm not from California. I don't really like California. Yeah, guess what? I wouldn't be down there with all the token merch and over here in Ohio. To to support that franchise. Just saying. Jesus Christ, Tori. You guys are so fucking stubborn and arrogant. It's annoying. First, I have to call you out. On y'all on Super Mario Fetish problem? Now this. Stop it. Just fucking stop it. Think about others for once. <laughs> Think about your other customers outside of Japan. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to go on a rant about that, but just. Oh, God. So moving on, I'm gonna win kill time, oh boy. <laughs> well oh boy. Well this episode was for record, I watched it with a couple of friends of mine. I watched it with, I watched it with, I watched the episode with, with, with three friends. Goober <laughs> Harmony and Doorman. I know all, I know they're watching this by the way. I know I know they're watching this. They're watching this for the record. I, I know I know you fuckers are watching this. <laughs> I hate you guys. Not kidding. I love you guys, but anyway, this episode was bad. It was bad. Okay, so how where did I start? Okay, so.
So it left off with the left off with the last episode. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> and uh, oh boy, it left <laughs> this episode. What, what, what the fuck happened in the beginning? So <laughs> yeah, it left off with the last episode with uh, with uh, with Jim, with, with Jim's dad and his team get ready to go. To go raid the sex the sex up place, God, fuck, <laughs> and uh, Ita, his son, told the told the owner of the sex place that uh about about them raiding him, and well, they went to a different location, and what happened to that? Hammy, <sighs> Hammy's character called Ita, asked her, "What the fuck, dude?" This info you gave me, it wasn't, it wasn't a good one. And this, the, and the owner of the sex place said, "Oh yeah, uh, this whole time, oh yeah, I'm tired that uh, I was, I was, I was tired that uh, I was just tired that uh, he snitch on y'all. I was using him to get, I was using him to hide from you fuckers. And now, well, it happened. So yeah, fuck you. And now uh, he get the phone back and you tell him to like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and yeah." <laughs> oh boy! Oh yeah! Next, yeah, next scene. Uh, next scene. The freaking friend who was no longer. T- oh god! I can't say this. I can't say that. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't say this. But I say his friend was at a party. But no, I can't say that. No, fuck! I can't say that. His friend was. His friend was uh. God, his friend was mask. Up, we can say, God damn it! <laughs> His friend was uh having too much fun, we can say, and well, they dragged him out like a dead body, <laughs> and think Inita and well Inita's friend's girlfriend well, were, were relieved that uh, he he was safe, and uh, boy, yeah boy, get the fuck, <laughs> yeah boy. If I remember next episode, if I remember next episode. <laughs> If I remember the next scene, it was him and Sena's actress, Sena's character, in the room doing karaoke. Well, it will probably get steamy. <laughs> my friend, my friend made a joke. Maybe my friend made a joke. Say that. Say that. My my friend made a joke. Say that. He gonna he gonna cure me. See, we can say bum. Yeah, let's say it. He about to cure me bum. I'm not saying the C word. I'm not saying the C word. I'm not saying the C word. I'm not saying the freaking C word. You put the cure me bum. So yeah. <laughs> Boy. What the fuck? Yeah though. Yeah though. You put the cure me bum. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah though. He he put the cure me bum. <laughs> and well. He didn't. He stopped some just in case. He almost got a bone, unfortunately, from her. But uh, they almost kicked. But uh, he did. But they didn't. Thank God they didn't. He stopped some just in case and left. I left the karaoke room in the sex place. The karaoke room was in the sex place. So 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 yeah. Her. <laughs> if I remember next scene, it's uh. If I remember next scene, God. Uh. Hammy's character went to Judo's place, went to Judo's house. I'm like, me and my friends were watching. I'm like, oh god, no, not oh god, no. My f- fucking doorman was laughing about this shit. I know he he fucking laughed about this shit. I was like, oh god, no, 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 not this, not this. And uh, well, what happened next? They were it got steamy. They were making out. The wife went out to do groceries. Tallest well, you know the actor the, the actor that played the actor that played Tallest dad, who's also Inita's dad in this live action show. The character playing him and Hammy's character were got steamy in the living room and making out. But uh, when the but uh, when the mom came in, they uh they were sitting down having a civil talk. We can say. And well, she was she accusing her husband of having an affair. Yeah, he's like, wait a minute, hold on, I'm not having an affair. The heck are you on about? And Hammy's character lied, and I say, 
say me and him are just co-workers, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> she, said, she said something, I forgot what, and, well, the mom was gushing about her having big boobs. <laughs> no joke, no joke, she actually was, she was gushing about, she was gushing about, she was gushing about her, her, care that having big boobs. <laughs> Next scene, if I remember, oh, God, Inuta's act, Inuta's character, Inuta came back home and he saw, well, he saw Hammy eating, Hammy character eating dinner with, well, his father, aka her, her boss, and, well, his mom. <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, I'm not hungry. If I remember the next scene of that, Hammy character went into his room and said that you're my pet, you're supposed to listen to me, what the hell happened? <laughs> like, ugh. He snapped at her, that's for sure. And, uh, well, he left. Then he went to go find May's character. And, uh, well... And, well, uh... He went to ask her, do you want to hang out after after school and do our homework together? And, and she was like, oh, uh, you see... Me and my co-worker are going to see a concert, so yeah. Side note, the, her co-worker is a fucking, is a fucking horny guy who just wanted to fuck her. Nope, not lying. He actually did. Cause next scene after that, he lied saying, that, "Oh yeah, I have, I have this one DVD. Want to borrow it?" And she got excited. He drugged her. He put something. He put something. He drugged her drink. And then, well, he unstripped her. And uh, the episode, the episode before the episode end, Inuta and well, Inuta and the in the horny guys uh. Sponsor, we can say, parole officer, yeah, parole officer, went to go stop paying. Yeah, at the same time, I was watching, like, I was watching to say to myself, where the heck is the parole officer? Is he a slow runner or what? Because I don't even see any touch character running really fast. In the few last, in the few last moments of the episode, shows, oh god. It shows, oh fucking god! It shows <sighs> him getting undressed and while undressing her, and him about to rape her. No, I'm not making this up. Did that really happen? In the episode for record, this 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 is only this is only episode five. This happened. Do not watch this show. What show is it called? Akiko Rinko. It's based off a ongoing Japanese manga that's going to Japan. Apparently, it's very popular too. And uh, it's on. I think it's on webtoons. And uh, and uh, yeah, the and that's where the episode left off. Then we got the preview. I'm not gonna talk about preview. I'm not gonna talk about the fucking preview. Oh god. And uh, yeah, though that's uh, that's Akiko Rinko. That episode five review. That overall, it was trash. It was fucking trash. It was trash. Like every other episode. God, this show sucks so much. I hate it. I cannot wait to be done watching this crap. Only five episodes to go. Then I'm done suffering. Yes. Then I gotta go watch another fucking J drama. That guy did with Kariko's actress and Soji from Kiryuger. Oh, God. I can't. I, there's three seasons that show, too. Fuck. I haven't even touched episode one yet, but god damn it. Ay, 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 ay. So, yeah, this episode was something we could say for the podcast. I talk about Dawn Bros, talk about my good, my ups and downs with it. I talk about my, I get my, I get a complete ramp, also getting, also getting my thoughts and opinions, two cents on hot, on Japan stuff being horny. Talk about a fucking. Live action. Uh, I can't. I hate that show. I hate Akirinko. I'll talk about the Dagger movie. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before one thing. Yeah, before I end this episode. I want to give... I want to say that about... I want to say that. I, I did... I, I, I kept it to myself, but, uh... For those that play Hardwork Legacy, that are a big fan of Harry Potter, go say next way. If you're... If you're... You think, if you love the franchise, and if you love the game... If you love the franchise, and if you hate J.K. Rowling, that then go buy the game. Go buy the game. Go buy the game. Go enjoy it. 
go enjoy. If you're trans as well, go buy it, go enjoy it. Because there are people out there that are saying that you're transphobic for buying the game. No, that's disgusting. Listen. Listen. When The Last of Us 2 came out, when the when the big controversy had for that game, people shit on it and say, no, fuck this game, I'm not buying it, all this, because they boycotted because, well, of, of, of leaks that weren't even true. You know what I did? I bought the game, played it, enjoyed it, and thought, I thought, I thought it, was, it, was, it was a good game. It wasn't perfect, but it was a good game. I didn't, I didn't like anyone in my experience. But yeah, at the same time, a few fuckers back in the day tried 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 to try to gatekeep me gate gatekeep me from playing the game, and I told them no, shut up, f off, leave me alone. <laughs> I blocked them on social media when that happened. If you're if you're a big fan of Harry Potter and if you love the franchise, go buy the game. If you love the books and the movie, go buy the game. Go enjoy it. Don't let anyone ruin it for you. But Aaron, J.K. Rowling, listen, J.K. Rowling is a piece of shit human being. F her, okay? Separate the art from the artist and have a fun time with this game. That's all I'm going to say. And and this comes from me, and I'm not even that big, I don't even like Harry Potter. I don't. Not the biggest fan of the franchise. I thought the movies were boring. They 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 never caught my attention. If you love Harry Potter... And if you love Hard Work Legacy, then go play the game. Go play the game. Kavos made a perfect. Kavos made a video dressing the whole controversy of this whole game, and uh, he said it perfectly. And uh, I'm gonna put it in the description, and I'm gonna put it in the description below for you guys to go check it out because his video was his video was really informative, detail, and uh, everything he said did pretty much how I felt about that as well. So yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of Broken Cat. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and put my put my notification button. Uh, nah. put my notification button on for my next video, which will be like well on the essay figures common writer advice. Yes, that, that that yeah fuck yes, that video's coming out very really soon. I'll probably probably just Monday I'll say. So yeah, so overall yeah though my name's Aaron. <laughs> Follow my social follow my social media in the description. And yeah, check out the article that Token Nation check out the article that Token Nation wrote about me in the description as well. And I'll put Kyle's video well in the description as well for you guys to go check out. And uh yeah guys, my name's Broku and uh well <laughs> I'm out. Have a nice night or nice day wherever you live at and uh yeah, peace. Bye.